Hi, I'm Jim Grouch of Metange Proprietary Limited. And in this short video, I want to continue with the concept of understanding the calculation execution sequence. And specifically, I want you to think in terms of before, during, and after, where that's before the unit operation is calculated, while the unit operation is being calculated, and after the unit operation has calculated. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to add another instrument to our simple MetSim model. So from the unit operation or models categories, we will choose CTL and then again choose INS for an instrument and place it on the drawing flow sheet drawing area above the flow rate controller because I'm going to use this instrument as an input point for setting the set point of our flow rate control. So left clicking, accepting the default controller number, immediately entering the unit operation number that this instrument is associated with both in location and calculation sequence, turning the controller on, and I'm going to call this instrument my um, water addition, give it units, meters cubed per hour, and a variable type or tag type SP for set point. Again, as per the last video, copy, paste into the value function um, field, add the capital US underscore prefix, and this time I'll directly add an input of 15. So I'm saying I want my water addition flow rate set point in meters cubed per hour to be 15. And I'll enter to exit the dialog, redraw the flow sheet, and I'm going to save it. My preference is always to use file save as. This gives me complete control and time to think, do I need to create a new revision of this model, change the name, maybe put the date and time after the name, or maybe not and just save. I could have just clicked on the save icon. Remember floppy disks? But I always prefer use files save as. <coughs> so let's think about where we are right now. I have an instrument that's ready that is being used to input the set point for the flow for the water addition rate. I'm now going to use that variable. I haven't executed it yet, but I'm going to use my tag control C and I'm going to use it as the set point for the flow control. I'm going to select the number 10, control V, to paste over my tag. And then I'm going to click enter to complete that. Now I'm going to execute this unit operation and let's think about what's going to happen. I'm using what is currently simply a text string and assigning an, and using that text string as if it is a variable in as the set point or an APL expression in this control. The sequence of calculations will be Metzen will first calculate that control and will generate an error because it does not recognize the text string even though it is starting with a capital US it does, does, does not recognize or accept it as a variable. 
It therefore will fail with error before it is able to calculate the sum of the two streams, assign the values for the, for the sum to the stream three, and then calculate the instrument associated with the unit operation. So let's see what happens. I'm selecting the um, calculate single unit operation, point to the selection point for unit operation two, and sure enough, I see an error and if I look to the bottom of the error statement for a clue, it says something about my US da -di -da -di -da, and the most important sentence is data has not been assigned to the named variable. So it sees US underscore water edition da -di -da -di -da as being a named variable, but it doesn't recognize it. So do I want to save the error to file? No. Clear the window, and we've lost the f composition of stream one because basically, Metsim is in the process of trying to set the flow, and comes across an error with our expression, and therefore doesn't know what to do about that composition. Therefore, I'm going to use the edit object tool, go back into stream one. It hasn't lost the composition with respect to component but it has lost it or set it to lower than the threshold level for the total flow rate. I'm simply going to enter the number one so that we have something that will again show us pale blue of predominantly um, aqueous flow. So understanding the problem Medsim, when it calculated the flow controller, didn't know about our request here to create a user scalar with this tag. Therefore, what we need to do is copy that expression, take it to the APL keyboard, paste it, and execute. As we saw in the previous video, executing a valid statement and assigning the result to a text string which starts with the capital letters US will create for us a user scalar which can be seen or edited using the edit objects uh, um, dialog. And there it is. Now, when we recalculate, the sequence will be the flow control will again be the first execution. It will understand and recognize the user scalar we're using as the set point. It will then be able to calculate the sum of the two streams, assign the com component mass flows to the outlet, calculate the um, instrument in which we, we will see the volumetric flow and it will also then calculate the instrument in which we are inputting the set point for the flow control. It's going to follow that sequence because this was the last instrument defined, therefore is calculated after the first instrument defined for this unit operation. So right now, let me think where we are. So to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is change the stream display to volumetric flow. Um, I will change the set point for our flow control to 30. And let's see what happens with a single iteration. Calculate single unit operation. The answer is 15. The reason that the answer is 15 at the time that I calculated the set point was 15. The calculation has now been done to assign the set point that we requested of thought of 30 to our scalar but the scalar hasn't been used again yet because it only requires a single iteration to 
calculate the addition of two strings. Now, if I calculate again, the value of 30 assigned to the user scalar is now being used by the flow control, setting the flow to 30, again calculating both the exiting flow and updating the value for the set point to be used in the next iteration. So the purpose of this is to show by understanding the sequence of calculations, by understanding before, during and after, we have complete control of what MedSim does when. There is another level of before, during and after, and that is within the unit operation using controls, where we see CTB, which is a control or expression to be executed before a unit operation and another CTA which is a control to be executed after the unit operation. So there's another level of control sequence within a unit operation and in fact we can take that further we also have logic statements which are executed before the main program of the unit operation. So I think that's enough for now. You'll see I'm moving towards a SCADA type of um, tag um, description and I'm setting up instruments because I find instruments particularly good for data connectivity to outside systems and that becomes even more powerful when you start to use this with uh, dynamic medicine modeling. Thank you.